In this video, let's talk about the very basics of how to make a chart or a graph in Excel 2007. You'll see it's really easy, it's very user friendly as long as you know where to go. So I've got a table here and this shows a few different associates and the number of calls they've made uh, over a three month period. This might be something that you'd want to display or present to uh, let's say a, a manager or an executive and a lot of times it's easier to show it in graphic form in some sort of chart. So what you can do is just click within the table like I just did here I'm in cell C5 it can be anywhere within this table and I'm going to come up here to the insert menu and you can see in the insert menu I've got a whole group called charts and it gives me uh, some quick buttons I could click on for different types of charts I'm going to choose column and then it gives me some quick links to a variety of different charts I'm going to go ahead and just select the basic 2D clustered column click on that and you can see it's just that easy to make a very simple graph now I could make something uh, that's more complicated I can come in here and change these different features but it was just that easy for it to create the chart and if you notice what it did let's take a look I'm gonna move the chart over here it came in and automatically identified that I had a row of headers and those were uh, the months and so it labeled those January February March it took those right out of the cells it realized I had some data in here you can see that's highlighted in the blue and it plugged that in and charted that out for us and then it recognized that I had row labels and it pulled those row labels out and put them as my x-axis values now you can see there's no title on this one if I would have had a title on my table it more than likely would have identified that and stuck it in here as well but I can come in here and I can use these options that are already uh, available to me if I use the drop down in the ribbon I've got all sorts of different colors and styles I can do very quickly without having to customize it on my own. Let's say I just want this shiny looking green one. If I change it to that, it automatically does and it looks pretty professional. Now I can come in here, let's say I want uh, these titles to be bold. If I click on any value, any piece of the chart, so I'm clicking on the key, I'm clicking on the axis, the uh, labels down here along the bottom and come back to the home tab and use my font options just like anywhere else in Word or Excel anything like that so, so if I click on bold it makes them bold if I come in here and change the color to let's say red sure enough it just changed it to red so it's very easy to work with it's what you're familiar with uh, the other thing that happens though is just like in other features of Excel uh, we get some context-based tabs up in the ribbon if you can see I've got a design tab a layout tab and a format tab that just appeared under a heading called chart tools so under design that's where I was just changing the look of it a little bit if I click on layout that gives me all of these shortcut options for changing the way the axis works maybe how the grid lines show uh, I can change the chart title up here uh, there's just a variety of different things that I can change error bars and more I can also come over here to the format tab and that gives me uh, some summarized options of what I can do. I can change the alignment. I can change the color of different pieces. Like I said, all of this is context based. So if I click over here and click off of the chart, those tabs are gone. So if you ever wonder where those tabs went, just click back on your chart and they'll come back. Now the nice thing about working with an Excel chart is I don't have to always make up my mind right from the start. I don't have to be perfect. If I later want to come in and I just really don't like that type I can come over here and I can change the chart type so I'm going to click on change chart type you can see here's all my options once again I'm going to come here to the quick hit list and I'm just going to do a simple pie chart instead and say OK and just that quickly it converts it to a pie chart uh, for January calls okay now I can go through and customize that further if I want to have it show other things but let's say I don't like that click on change chart type and I can change it to a line graph and say OK and just that easily it changes the type again and I'm able to change the colors and uh, all of those things quickly and on the fly without having to redo things all the time so that's the basics of charts as you can see there's a lot more you can do with it but that should get you started making some nice looking charts and graphs